pieces of chocolate. Gary Kramer is live in Lincoln with more on these one of a kind chocolate bars. We're listening. Hey, how you doing? Well, we're going to be much better after we try this chocolate. So how does this work? Uh, say that again. How are you able to put so much caffeine into the chocolate? Oh, thank you. So what we've been doing for probably over four years is infusing a uh, one of seven different chocolates into our Belgian chocolate bars. So, you know, if, if you have enough of this, you'll be a blabbermouth like me. <laughs> well, Tina and I are both blabbermouths already. We come by it honestly, though, because it's what we do for our job. Yeah. How did you get the idea to do this? Um, actually, it came about quite a few years ago when Darlene wanted to become a chocolatier. And she attended classes, got certified, and then we sat down and it was kind of interesting. She said, I want to go into business, but I don't know exactly what I want to make. And I said, well, I think there was something in one of your classes that had to do with coffee and chocolate. She said, yeah. And I said, well, and I don't know where it came from. I said, can't you infuse coffee into chocolate? And she goes, oh my God, that's, that's awesome. Let's do that. Yeah. And that's exactly what we did. Um, it, it, it's been going on for over four years. Right now, we're actually up to seven different bars. Um, and each one of them has about a cup of coffee worth of caffeine, but we just came out with our new double caffeinated bar. Cool. So that one is definitely getting people staying awake. I've got truck drivers to ER physicians loving the bars to stay awake. Well, who doesn't like chocolate for the holidays? Where can people pick this up? Obviously a little last minute. Well, right now we're, uh, we're in Lincoln, California, upstairs in the Lincoln brand feeds building. Uh, we also have some of our bars located in some local Whole Foods and Safeways as well. Okay. Well, gosh, we're going to have to try those. Now, right now, yeah, Darlene's making some uh, some port-filled uh, chocolate truffles, and, and we make these every year. This is a, uh, uh, a beautiful chocolate port wine, and then she infuses them and decorates them. And we even had a little fun this year. Uh, we're not allowed to sell these, but we uh, picked up an ice tray from uh, Harley Davidson when we were back east. So we even decorated a few of those just for some fun thing. We're giving those away to some, some lucky guests. Oh, that's great. I am looking for the chocolates here at the station, but I don't see any. <laughs> Huh. Oh, it's, it's on its way, and we have, a, we have a brand new product which we'll send down there. This is a chocolate caramel. It oh. is absolutely scrumptious, Ooh. and we've never had anybody not enjoy this. So if you look over here, Darlene's actually cutting some fresh uh, caramel that we made last night. Oh, okay. I love that. I oh. like it. It seems like Darlene's the chocolate maker, oh, yeah. and you're the spokesperson. It was is her that dream, how it works? Her dream come true. I'm the I'm the blabbermouth. No, I'm the blabbermouth. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh my gosh, too cute. Yeah. I, I I earned that title. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very just, much. Yeah, she accused me. I'm sorry. She accused me a long time ago of uh, talking too much and call me a blabbermouth. I said, you know, that might be a good idea to name the company that. Perfect. Oh, fun. I love it. Match made in Merry heaven. Christmas.